What's going on everyone? Welcome to a brand new video on the channel. Welcome to some Need for Speed Heat. As you can see, I am in my garage right now because I'm going to be driving my E30. Uh, now this is obviously not just Need for Speed Heat on its own. This is a modded version of the game. This is with the Unite 3.0 mod. Now this is a mod pack, I should say, or, or a lot of different tiny mods or a lot of different changes in this mod that have been applied to this game. And I am really, really down to try them out. I have taken a slight look at them, a little bit, but I haven't done too much digging into the whole mod itself, so we'll see what everything is like. Um, apparently there's a bunch of stuff changed. Um, audio mixing is a big thing as well. They changed a lot of that, so we should be able to hear a lot more different things and, and stuff like that. But, uh, main and most importantly, we have a stance mod added on, and the weather effects, and, and all of that, the lighting and, and, and all of that is just so much better now. And a huge, huge part of this mod is a handling pack. Now, the handling pack should change the way our cars drive, obviously, um, so I don't go around drifting around every single corner because that's what this game is literally like. You just slide around everywhere, and it's so annoying. So, uh, also, we have quite a bunch of changes when it comes to the bodywork. I think only some cars have uh, some more specific body kits and stuff like that, so I'm not entirely sure which ones they are at the moment, but I'm just going to stick with my E30 right here. Like I said, the uh, the customization, the stance customization, there's no actual air suspension or anything like that. Uh, this is pretty much what my setup was like from be from before. Um, I could change my tire diameter in the rear, which is kind of cool. Uh, I'm going to go and make it look kind of like that, I guess. Anyway, for the effects here, like I said, air suspension. I'm just going to put it on. Uh, why not? I don't know exactly if that's going to adjust at all. It doesn't look like it's changed much from the car itself. If I go to the stands, I, I can't actually adjust the, the ride height or anything like that. So I'm just going to go out and drive it and actually show you guys pretty much what this is like. Now, along with a few of the changes that you can see just off the bat, first of all, with the, the little UI change and stuff like that, this thing is so nice to drive. Because they've changed all of the uh, all of the driving physics and stuff like that, the car itself just doesn't feel like it wants to drift around every corner. Obviously, if I tried to oversteer it. Now, I've, I've built this thing, right? There is a Let's Play on the channel where you guys can see me actually drive <laughs> this car itself. And I'm sliding around every single corner. I just sort of whip the handbrake and just go around every corner as fast as possible. And it doesn't slow down, pretty much. And it keeps my speed up. Now, this thing, even though I can get it to oversteer, I love all the ambient car sounds and stuff like that. It's so good. They sound so good. That Range Rover is so loud as well. Obviously, the other one that crashed is just so funny. But this one is also so, so loud. So as you can see... Alright, Panamera, calm down. All the cars everywhere, man, they just make so much noise. The AI has changed, like I said, and plus what the, all the audio sounds just make the game so much more interesting to listen to when you're driving around. So obviously, in the distance, I have so many trees and things that just don't load in. That's just the game itself being the game itself. I mean, everything is literally turned up as, as high as possible when it comes to graphics. But yeah, I, uh, I like this thing. It's so nice. Again, this isn't a super, super fast car, so I'm probably going to go into my garage and take something a lot faster out and drive that. But, for right now, this seems like so solid to drive. It just seems so easy to just, you know, cruise around with. And it's something that, like I said, this game was never, like, I was never able to properly do that, you know, in this game. Because it was always, like, you know, wanting to slide the car around every single time. If I go slightly too fast, this thing would just, like, try to drift. And that was annoying. So, the driving physics are definitely changed, and they've definitely been upgraded with this mod. And you can just drive around. It's like I'm playing Forza. It's just... It sounds so sick. That Range Rover sounds so, so good. Alright, I'm going back into my garage. Because I want to take out something faster. Uh, I'm probably going to take out the R34. The R34 is probably the fastest car I have right now. Um, in, the, in this. I'm pretty sure. We got a new couch. Go on. Make yourself comfortable. Where is it? It's here, isn't it? Oh, it's not even the fastest thing I have. I think there's other cars. Is this the fastest thing I have? The 350? I think it might be. Should I take it out? Yeah, let's let's, let's take it out. Select and customize. So this is pretty much what we have with this thing. So obviously, you can see it clipping a little bit. 
um, because of the because of the stance mod that is pretty much installed there. So I'm gonna go ahead and look at what you can do with those wheels. That is nuts. I'm gonna lower this thing. Well, it is already as low as possible. I'm gonna do this and add a little bit of negative camber for the front and the rear, and that should look good. Now, if I go into anything here for the front bumper, there's there's the extra little bits and pieces, as you can see. We have our Unite body kit here. And then there's another one here. I'm going to go with this one because it's nice and wide body. It looks really, really good. Uh, so I'm going to put that on. So, is a few cars. There are a few cars here. It already chooses that bumper for me, so I don't really have to do anything there, do I? Uh, I'm going to go with my wing mirrors. Obviously, there's nothing there, so... Yeah, like I said, there are a few bits and pieces that the Unite team has added onto the game for some of the cars. Um, so you'll see it. Like, for example, the wide body kit on this 350, which looks really, really good. Um, anything else for the wings? I guess not. I'm going to leave that the way it is. What about the exhaust? The exhaust has the standard s ones. I don't think I ended up changing these. Did I? I think I just left them the way they were, right? I kind of like these, these ones that are sort of pointed upwards and a little offset. These speed hunters one. I'm gonna put these on, but you can also see, like I said, the uh, the effects that you have there. Again, air suspension has been taken out. I think I'm pretty sure for a lot of these guys. Uh, I'm gonna put it on anyway. I'm not 100 percent sure if it actually is going to do anything, but our stance is obviously changed with this car. Now, if I go into my uh, performance customization, you'll be able to see that pretty much. I I think I need to have. The showcase suspension, or I need to have like a really good uh, set of suspension. I don't think if I keep it on the sports setup, I don't think I'll be able to do any anything like that. If I remember correctly, I think I've done, I've tried that on the E30, if I if I if I remember correctly before, and I wasn't able to adjust anything there. So anyway, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna go out. Uh, let's go out at nighttime. Let's see what nighttime is like. Let's see what all of the uh, all of the cars and everything like that, all the the lighting effects and stuff like that look like at nighttime. I just want to see what that's like. Okay. What's it look like if I turn it off? Is it actually going to go down lower? Wait, should I go somewhere where there's actual light? It's so much gloomier at nighttime, actually. It's like it's actual nighttime. Weird, huh? I miss this game, man. I I genuinely miss playing this game. It is so much darker than before. It has to be, right? I don't think it was ever like this gloomy out. They did say that they changed a bunch of a uh, a bunch of the lighting effects so for for some of the time periods during the day that you know it's supposed to be gloomy. Like it is actually a lot more gloomy than what it was before. What I want to do is I want to turn off my engine. Also, yeah, I can drive this thing normally. Obviously, this is the fastest thing I have, so it's going to have a lot more power than, than my E30 that I was just driving. Alright, so can I turn this off? Okay. There's, there's no air suspension in the game. But there's no air suspension on this thing, anyway. I think once you put all the, the, the stance mods and stuff like that, I think it just get, gets rid of it or just cancels out the air suspension completely. Okay, I want to take this thing around the corner. I want to see what it's like now to drive. I could just drive this normally though. That's kind of what I like. Okay, let's go to this corner. I mean, it's... If I let go... Oh god, where am I going? If I let go of throttle, it literally just gets rid of my slide. It just tries to straighten up again. It's weird. It feels normal. So I can force it with my handbrake to go sideways. But if I just go into a corner and like, I gently accelerate. Whoa, that was close. It doesn't want to slide. I can brake and drive it normally. This is so nice, honestly. It's made a big, big difference to the actual game itself. It generally has. Just being able to cruise, being able to drive normally. It has made a massive, massive difference in the game. Okay, let's go back into the daytime so you guys can just actually see what's happening here. So... Let's hop back over to the garage. Now, before I finish this video off, I actually want to show you guys my Midnight Purple R34 out. Look how gloomy everything is, though. 
in this overcast effect. This is so sick. The R34 sounds good, as usual. It's so nice out, honestly. Just everything looks so good now. Man, why couldn't I just make this game like this before? And even the stance of it, I can hear it. I can hear that Range Rover. I can hear it just rolling around. Alright, let me... Stop the car really quick here and just have a look at it. Okay. This is pretty much what it looks like. In this overcast weather. All the ambient sounds and stuff like that. So good. A little bit of rain as well. Mustang just making noise. This is such a sick game. Genuinely. With this mod, I honestly might actually start playing it again and just see what happens. Um, if you guys want to see some more, definitely let me know. I'm trying to render this video in 4K. Try to have it as high of a quality as I possibly can, just so you guys can see how good this game actually looks. And I, I still know for a fact that you guys won't be able to see exactly how this game looks because obviously video compression stuff like that exists. And it's just going to make it look worse. But trust me, this game looks so good. This is by far the best graphics I've ever seen on a game. And I'll say that right now. Forza has very good graphics and stuff like that. And there's other games, Battlefield and all that. But this is so realistic. With the lighting effects and everything. It just looks so good. I love it. I love it. And I really want to play it a lot more. If you guys want to see some more of this, let me know down in the comments below. But for now... This was the Unite 3.0 mod, and uh, this was Need for Speed Heat. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.